Warning, the following program contains scenes of graphic stupidity between a man and some games. Don't take anything and say too serious, I'm just messing around. This video should not be viewed by anyone. How's it going everybody? Today we are jumping back in Scum and we are once again playing on Europe Official 1 and we are going to pick up on the same life from the last time we played. And the last time we played we went from a first spawn up in the sky to looting one of the sketchy abandoned bunkers. And we actually managed not to only survive down there but we also got some loot. We got the MP5 and the AKS and a few other things as well. So as soon as I jumped in the game today my first plan was to hit up the outpost and sell some of the extra loot that I had on me. Oh my god. Oh, he's running the other way. Oh, I just got in. <laughs> I just heard somebody running past me. Oh, there he is, there he is. I thought he was an outpost camper. There he goes. I was like, oh no, it's going down. I thought somebody was camping the area and I was about to get absolutely wrecked. Luckily, it was just a player leaving the outpost, so I managed to get in and sell a few things. But as I was doing just that... Oh my god, look at this. Holy crap. He's got two RPGs. And he's buff. Oh, alright. What have you been eating, my good sir? People? <laughs> Bloody Rambo just came out of nowhere here. So I managed to sell a few things and I made around 5 grand and I stashed away all the money in my account and after that I left the outpost and headed to a nearby town to try and find some screwdrivers. What? It's a goat! Hey buddy! How you doing? Is the goat gonna headbutt me really fast? Hey, bud. Look at him going. Alright, well, we're over in this town and we're gonna try and take a quick look around. I'm gonna try and see if I can find any screwdrivers. Take a look around the PD as well. I did lock up a door here. I was in this town a week ago or almost a week ago and I locked up a house or a room in a house across the street from the police station. And let me see if it's still locked up. Looks like somebody has already been through here though. And let me see, can we find ourselves anything interesting? It looks like somebody has already looted this entire place. <gasps> oh my god. What the hell? Oh, this guy is uh... I cannot aim for the life of me. Oh god, pop a painkiller! Pop a painkiller! I just, I'm, I'm so ashamed right now. I do not even want to talk about it. Dude, I could not. S oh, I am. So, I don't even want. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I could not do it. I could not hit that guy. What the heck was that, man? What am I, some sort of a pleb? Hey, bud. Don't get up. Or I'm gonna do something that I don't don't usually do. I'm gonna drop this right over here. Should probably drop a bunch more things right over there, but I'll just quickly yank this guy's backpack and go back up in that room. What the? There's so many zombies. Oh, everything is basically empty. Oh my goodness, all of his stuff 
which is basically empty. Just a couple of things in the backpack here, in the hiking bag. I think we gotta go. He's got a silver lock, he's got an improvised sewing kit, lock picks, and a bunch of screwdrivers, which I do need. Very much so. And no, I'm not taking the hiking backpack. <laughs> not a shot. He didn't have anything in his clothes. It was too clean. It was too clean. I think this guy is going to come back. So we got to get out of here. I'm going to head west. Or no west. East. I'm going to head east. We are getting out of this town. I'll leave the shame behind. <laughs> oh, my god. I just couldn't do it, man. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't aim straight. I couldn't aim straight. Now one bit. <laughs> now one bit. I couldn't do it. You know, it's moments like these that I think about when I lay in bed at night. I still think about that fight when we had the UMP and I missed more than half the shots on the easiest target ever. They say that you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take, but in my case, I miss 80% of the shots that I do take. Nevertheless, we managed to survive and we got some screwdrivers and a revolver as well. And after that, I went over to this quarry where I waited for my wounds to heal up. And after that, I decided to take a look around. You know, I don't come here all that often because all around the quarry, we have hills. So if you're down here and somebody's up there with a nice rifle, you're in trouble. But since we're here, I'll take a quick peek around and then we're gonna leave. I don't think I'm gonna need anything from here, right? I mean, I'll take the I'll take the fish. We can munch on that. Nails, boots, a hat, and then this is like gravel, if I remember right. Gravel or cement, right? It's it's gravel, bunch of gravel. So I guess whoever wants to upgrade their base, they come here for gravel. Probably the best spot to find a bunch of gravel. Ooh, a screwdriver. Nice. And a backpack as well, but we don't need it. I'll take the screwdrivers though. Those are very, very useful. Shovel. That's useful as well. We can bury a chest, but I'm not really going to do that anytime soon. I didn't loot the entire place because those hills or those cliffs all around the quarry give me the sweats. So after checking a few containers, I left and I scoped out the other quarry. There are two of them really close to each other, so I decided to take a look around the other one as well from afar with my scope. But I didn't spot any movement, so after that I decided to go over to a nearby bunker. Alright, well, we have a small bunker not too far away from the quarry. The quarry is just down there and we are down the road from it pretty much. So we're gonna take a quick look around. See if we can find anything interesting. I'm gonna actually fix up this raincoat. I like the green raincoats, they look very nice. Is that a blue raincoat? No, those are some pants. Anything else around here? Alright, let me fix this up a little bit. It's in terrible shape, so I think we can only fix it up to 50%. No, we can't fix it up at all? Wait, what? Why not? Why not? I have... I have, I have sewing kits. Couldn't we fix this up even though they were in terrible shape? Examine drop. Oh, oh, hold on. Do I need duct tape to fix this up? Hold on a second. We might actually need duct tape for the... For the raincoat. I don't remember. I actually don't remember. Was it duct tape or was it a sewing kit? 38. We can actually use that in the revolver that we got from that guy. A bow. I mean, I guess so. The last time we played, I skipped on a bow. And then immediately after that, I found the keycard to the abandoned bunker. And <laughs> we needed a bow, so I had to craft one. Since I found a bow, I crafted some more arrows for it, and after that, I headed over to a town to see if I could put the screwdrivers that we found to good use by opening up some of the lock containers from the police station. What? The oh my god! Oh my god! 
I thought it was a guy crouched. You have to be kidding me with these damn zombies. I thought it was a guy crouched behind the damn tree. That was that was quite the jump scare right there. <laughs> My goodness. These damn zombies. Alright, well, we're just outside of this town in B2. We're gonna take a quick look around the police station and see if we can get... Well, I'm hoping to find another keycard, but chances are I'm not gonna find another one. I think the last time we played, we got very, very lucky finding a keycard in one of the locked containers. But since we're here, since we have some screwdrivers, since we have some lockpicks, might as well take a quick look. Look at this guy. Alright, there are tons of zombies in here. What is happening? <laughs> Look at this guy. Alright, well, I just... Made a ton of noise. UMP magazine and night vision, alright. Let me quickly pick out my arrows. I guess that was all of them. <laughs> yeah, this guy freaking out. We got some night vision here. Should we pick this up or what? I mean, I already have night vision, but we can sell it for uh, a bit of cash money. I did pick up the night vision goggles and opened up the locked containers as well. I was hoping to find another one of these key cards that we can use to activate the abandoned bunkers, but no luck, unfortunately. But I did find some magazines and some bullets, I also went up in the snowy mountains and looted a few spots and as soon as my pockets filled up I hit up the outpost and sold a bunch of things including the night vision that we found and I believe we now have over 40 grand in our account. But there you have it, that is about it for today's scam. thank you so much for taking the time and hanging out with me today, I hope you have enjoyed and I will see you in the next one with some more video games.